Well, this is my second time recording because first time I did not click record. So. <laughs> so, first of all, uh, I'm gonna show you how to uh, use uh, C, do sniff the package. So, uh, quite show up today in the class, but some of you uh, were a little bit behind. So I'm just gonna I'll walk you through how uh, how to do it. So I I use VNC for my uh, terminal. Uh, you some people use Sigwin for the SSH. Uh, for my SSH, I use this program. It's which is a little bit easier. Uh, but I mostly use the uh, VNC because it's user friendly yeah, in my opinion but I will show I will show you but so you guys can can go through so here I'm just gonna close it <coughs> <coughs> so well, a lot of people are using browser so if I'm will be using browser I would just gonna it's, it's not it's not the idea to use a browser because you have to use multiple windows so, but <coughs> this uh, this first part I can just show you how how you can get into the folder. So whatever as I said you use, you can just uh, follow the same uh, same pattern. That should work. So if you launch uh, SSH, this is what you see, right? You, uh, the uh, open to is the user. It goes straight to uh, open the user. You have to change to your C user, right? So the the way you change is you sudo s u s e e c. Uh, from there, you stay in an open the folder. So you have to go to a C folder. To do that, you just type cd, and then it will take it will take straight to your uh, C folder. So and the C folder, uh, you can check. To make sure you know you're in the C. So in the C, you have to go to a volume folder. So in C, there's two. Uh, so to go to volume folder, you have to go through left setup. So you go to you know CD and left setup and then volume. Then in the volume, you uh, you should have a lot of file if you already done uh, some of the. Uh, uh, first assignment, uh, you can check the uh, <coughs> LS. And so I already have the uh, sniff program that I did uh, this evening. I have to delete it, so I can first start it. So I'm just gonna remove my sniff. All right. So this is for SSH, you know. So I'm just gonna go back to my VNC. Because that's what I use uh, mainly. the The reason I use uh, a VNC because I can open multiple terminal in a user friendly way, right? <coughs> you can do it on uh, any SSH, but I prefer that way. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to get the uh, the link. All right, this link. I will put that thing in the in the discussion board too. So we're gonna have to download this program to do that. You just copy the copy the link, and then go to your uh, VM. First of all, everything everything has to happen on the uh, volume folder, right? So you have to go to volume folder. To do that, you have to go to C, then follow the same same thing. And the volume folder. I'm gonna double check how many file I have. Yeah, I don't have that file. <coughs> I already remove it, so I'm. I will use wget key, uh, code, and then you paste the uh, the link. Press enter. Uh, it will download it. So you can check, make sure the file is in there. Yeah, the file is in there. So if you see the file, this is good. So now you have to edit it. So there's a three step to quad show up how to edit it, right? So 
to edit the uh, this file you can either use VI or nano I use nano so I'm just gonna go nano and this file here we go this is the uh, the program that we just download just need to uh, edit three so first you just need to add yeah this one uh, second one is right here you delete IP photo just leave the ICMP and that is you do put your the container name right your uh, interface name so to check your interface this is how you check it I will just launch another terminal that's why I use uh, VNC because you, you can launch multiple terminal at the same time and you don't have to close it I mean you can do it with the zip win but I think this is more convenient in my opinion so you go to IF config um, go all the way to and this is your interface name uh, all you gotta do is just copy the interface and you go back to your program and paste it Place here, and that's it. That's three chains that you need to do. Uh, put your core interface, put your uh, delete the uh, data in front of ICMP, and then add this one header. And then, if you're using VI, you can just save it uh, by WQ. Since I use uh, nano, I, I click Control O and then enter. Let's see. And that's it. Uh, you just edit it. Now what you have to do is you have to execute the file. So to do to execute the file for C program, uh, this is the code you have to type GCC that's all. And then this is your output name. And this is your input name. Right? This is the file you have. And then this P. Uh, let me double check. Yeah. First lab, uh, we are using the uh, P cap. So just put this code and then click enter, and that should be good. Uh, so now you check, make sure you get the executable file. So <coughs> right here, as an IFF sniff, this is your executable file. Every executable file should be the different color. So, so now I have one right here. Okay, I'm going to close this terminal because I don't need it. So since you already have the uh, executable file, now we can test it. Make sure this file is working. I'm just gonna make a small. Now you need your uh, attacker, attacker and host. So. Target VN host VN. So I usually open the uh, the uh, host. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure everybody already know how to do this. Uh, how to open the host? It's happened in a in the lab setup. So you have to go to uh, you have to do the same thing over and over and again. So you go to C uh, user and then go to lab setup. So the way I check my uh, container, I use doc dot ps uh, give me the the name my host is my host is dog uh, what is that it's ec it uh, a4 beam and bash All right so this is my this is my host, and then the same thing in here. Docker is C A two bash. Right. This is my uh, attacker. 
So in attacker you are able to go to volume folder. In the volume folder you should be able to see all your uh, file. The one I'm more interested in is sniff. That is, we just create uh, we just created it. So we, you, all you gotta do is just run the run the file. The way you run C program in this case is dot slash and the name that you just enter. If you don't see anything, which means it's running. So over there, you go to host. Uh, you can ping or whatever you want. I'm just gonna ping. I'm just gonna send uh, two package to Google. I uh, should reply. So here we go. I got full package reply. Right. Well, Quad didn't explain why we had the full package. Even though we only sent two package, right? So this is how you do this assignment. Uh, you should be able to uh, get through it if you follow the step. Uh, I will. I will put the the link in the description or the description box. If you have any question regarding this assignment, you can feel free to email me. I can answer the question. Yeah, and that's about it. Thank you.